hey what's up so this is a new reading vlog and it's an exciting one because i am starting blade breaker this is gonna be victoria eager this is gonna be a dedicated vlog to blade breaker which is so blade breaker is the second book and the realm breaker trilogy sorry try aviard obviously um so i read this first book last year and i reread it again um in june it's currently july um and i'm so this came out um june 28th i'm so excited to read this i heard that the ending just like blows people's mind and they're like victoria what did you do to us should expect this from you but what did you do to us so i'm excited to get to this i know sorry and like um things look like little secrets um so i'm excited to see like what that's gonna be about so if you guys don't know what realm breaker is about so this is um a first book in a fantasy trilogy and this is basically what would happen if the the heroes fail and die and then the um bt the second string has to come in and save the day so that's what this book is about it follows um Corrine. a few um, povs Corrine. she's our main pov um which she she is the daughter of a she's the daughter of a pirate um a woman pirate and basically she is the one that is supposed to save the realm um, and these two characters, um, Damar Priyam, aka Dom, and and Sasara, they show up in um, in her town, and they basically say, like, listen, the world is gonna end, and you are our only hope. So let's go. So, yeah, so this follows um, like a like this this group of um, people coming together, trying to save the realm. I hope I did a decent job explaining that. I'll I'll just read you the synopsis because I think I did a horrible job. It's hard, I feel like this book is just hard to explain of what it's about. So save the world or end it. A strange darkness is growing in the in the ward. Even Corinne and Amara can feel it. Tucked away in her small town at the edge of the sea, fate knocks on her door in the form of a mythical immortal and a lethal assassin who tell Corrine that she is the last of an ancient lineage with the power to save the world from the de from destruction because a man who would burn kingdoms to the ground is raising an army unlike any seen before bent on uprooting the foundations of the world with poison in his heart and a stolen sword in his hand he'll break the realm itself to claim it and only Corrine can stop him Alongside an, un an unlikely group of reluctant allies, Corrine finds herself on a desperate journey to complete an impossible task, with untold magic singing in her blood and the fate of the world on her shoulders. So, that's the synopsis. Um, if you haven't read Realm Breaker, I wouldn't suggest you watch this video because, um, because I'm going to be reading the second books and I might have like slight spoilers for the first book because it's the second book <laughs> so yeah um so yeah so if you guys have read realm breaker i'm not gonna do any spoilers for blade breaker it's gonna be a spoiler free but there might be some like slight spoilers for realm breaker so you've been warned i'm currently watching katie colson's reading sprints um there's currently 12 minutes within the sprint i'm not gonna read the sprint's going on for a bit um, but I'm not gonna read right now. I'm, I just finished one book, and I don't want to complete, just jump into this so quickly. So um, I'm gonna, I'll read not the next sprint, but the sprint after that, just to like clear my mind a little bit before jumping into this, because this could be a bit um dense. So yeah. So once I um started reading this, I'll talk to you guys again. Hey, so days later <laughs> it's 11 p.m on monday july 11th um and i've been reading blade breaker by victoria abiard 
Um, I just got to page 102. I'm in the middle of a chapter. The chapters are long in this book, but I got into um, the point where I stopped. There's like a scene break, so I stopped there for the for the moment. Um, so thoughts so far. I still haven't like got into it. Um, there have been some like funny moments, but I'm. Plot wise, I'm still kind of confused about what's going on. Um, we do it does start off right where book one ended, like slight spoiler. So, if you guys read the first book, then you know that in the end of book one, they closed one of the spindles. Well, yeah, one of the spindles. Um, so it picks up pretty much from there in like the aftermath of like that battle, but yeah, it's just it. It's a little hard to get into because there's still like a lot that's happening and I'm just like what's going on but I'm hoping as like I get more into it um, I like learn more about the world and get more immersed into the story because right now I'm not in love <laughs> which is upsetting so yeah um, but yeah I'm I've barely made a made I've barely made a dent in this. This bookmark is my next um, goal of where I want to be at, which is the end of this chapter. Um, so yeah, I'm not in love with this, but um, yeah, it's just it's just complicated. I feel like there's a lot going on, and there's like a lot of words that I don't know, a lot of people that I don't know. A lot of places that I don't know so um, I'm gonna be reading this kind of slowly just so I can try and get all the information that's being thrown at me because I feel like a lot's being thrown at me and I'm like I don't know what's happening I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping up so yeah that was my thought that was my thought so far I'm probably just gonna read tonight until um I reach my next goal which is page 113 the end of this chapter and then i'll see what i do after that i don't know um probably go to sleep after that but yeah it's my update for now and i'll keep you guys updated Saturday, July 16th is 8.14 p.m. And listen, oh, focus. And listen, okay, let, this is, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay, so, listen. I've been reading Blade Breaker. I am now on page 218. I'm on chapter 12. And I think... I might now start to get more invested in it. It's a feeling. Okay, so basically, I realized that with all the back and forth, um, meaning um, going from different point of views, I wasn't like getting enough time with one character. So then by the time we went back, um, to somebody else, I was like, wait, who's that? What's happening? <laughs> so I started taking notes. This was like chicken scratch, but it makes sense to me. Um, so basically keeping track now of names and places because this is a pretty intensive world. Um, so it's hard to keep track of 
where they've been and where they're going especially because there's different points of views so it's hard to remember like um okay so like there's like three main like story plots going on so um corraine Arida, and Rhea. so when we're going back and forth between those different like locations of where they are it's hard to keep track of everything so now i'm keeping track of characters and places so i can remember like when they mention like a place i could just go to my notes and be like okay um that's this place or they mention a name i'm like okay that's this person because i was reading a raya chapter and there was two characters i'm like who the hell are these people <laughs> but it was just because i forgot who they were by the time i got back to what was happening in the the ria chapters so yeah so hopefully now um i can keep things straight more and i'm not as confused fingers crossed <laughs> because i had been confused for a bit and then the and then i have trouble focusing on like what's going on because i'm just thinking like who is this person and i'm not and I'm not really focusing on what I'm reading. You feel me? So hopefully this method will keep everything in track for me. Um, so what I have to say. One, Dom. <laughs> I love the Dom. His like character trait is um, glowering. He always has like, a glow look on his face. So I love that's his character trait. Um, Sarasa, she... It's annoyed by Dom all the time. And um, yeah, it's funny. I still love, like from the first book to this book, I still love like their banter between Dom and Sarasa. Um, Corrine is starting to get <laughs> a, big of, a bit more of a backbone. She's still having difficulties with like coming to terms with what her role is in this journey. Yeah, and what's going on. She's having difficulty she's pretty young i think she's like 17 or 18 i can't remember um but like she, she's having difficulties just like really coming to terms with what's going on um love andrew is still like i'll start uh, i'll make some tea that's his um that's his character trait love it um uh, also interesting learning more about Harrison who is our main villain and speaking about villains I'm interested to see more about with Erida and Harrison and how like their like little dynamic starts to develop um, and then also I'm excited to learn more about what weights because we got very little about what weights and Realm Breaker we're getting a teensy bit more like now I know it may have been a wrong break, wrong break, I don't remember. But I now know where, what weights it's from. And other certain things. I know it's hints a bit more, so I'm interested to see, like, more about, learn more about what weights. So, yeah. I think that's all I have to say for the moment. So yeah, I'm going to keep reading a little bit and I'll keep you guys updated on um, what's going on and how I'm feeling about the book. So yeah. Hey, so it's hot. It's Saturday, July 23rd, 1027 p.m. I don't even want to focus. Whatever. Okay, so here's the situation. Okay. Blade Breaker, still reading it. I'm on page 292. I'm in the middle of a chapter 15, but I decided it was a good place to stop because I'm finally halfway into the book. And guys, let me tell you, you didn't hear this from me. Kind of boring. Like, I feel like not much is happening. I'm still not like attached to any of the characters i feel like there's too many povs 
it keeps switching between the, two, the, the POVs too much and I can't like get like attached to any of the characters so that's unfortunate um I've heard that the ending is like a oh my god what the heck kind of situation so I'm like it's better be worth it um right now this is sitting at a three star if that ending is as is as intense as people are describing it then it'll go up probably to a and i'm like oh my god yeah uh it'll go up to 3.5 but i think it's this is a three star kind of book which is um it's really unfortunate i really wanted to like this i so far i liked rom breaker more than i've liked this one but i didn't even fall in love with the first book rom breaker either but i was really hoping that i would just like really like get invested in the second book and that's not happening and yeah yeah i the whole there are POVs where I'm like at this point I don't think it's necessary like okay um we have Dom, Corrine, Sarasa, and Andre. Those four all have POV chapters and they're all together. <laughs> so I'm like I get when they there's when somebody has a pov because they're like somewhere else but they're not like with like the rest the group like erida makes sense she's not with the main group of people um ria makes sense because she's not with the main group of people so it makes sense that they those two have their own povs i think at this point um uh, those four that i mentioned before that are all together at this point i feel like um andrew doesn't really need pov chapters he was important to have pov chapters in the beginning of realm breaker the first book but at this point i don't think it's necessary personally in my opinion i don't think it's necessary at this point and sarasa also don't think her povs are important because again she's with everyone else i think the most important one to have povs from is corinne because it's supposed to be her story <laughs> she's supposed to be like the main character so i feel like her povs are important i feel like we haven't even gotten that many chapters from corinne and she's supposed to be like you know the one so i don't really understand why we don't have that many chapters from her and then i feel like dom his i feel, yeah i feel like his chapters are not even, they're even they're not even that important but they're somewhat important because like this one chapter that i did read um it, dom and um so also were together uh they were apart from the group and um something happened and obviously because of that somebody needed to have like their own pov because corinne wasn't there so in that situation it makes sense to have like one of them have a pov but besides that they're usually always all together so <laughs> i don't think that all these povs are necessary especially at this point in the book so yeah those are my two cents and i'm gonna i think i'm gonna read a little bit more tonight of this and then continue reading this tomorrow because i am bored i am bored like bored <laughs> i really hope the ending of this is was all worth it wish me luck
Okay, long time no update, I feel like. I don't remember the last time I updated this vlog. Um, but it's Sunday, August 7th, it's 6.32 p.m. Uh, I've been reading Blade Breaker. I'm now on page 417, I'm on chapter 22. Um, I took a bit of time off from this because I was like, I need a break from this. So I started, <laughs> I'm like reading like romances or whatever, like um, besides this. Cause I needed a break from this because I was just like, <sighs> not loving it. Um, I am less bored than I was for my last update, but I'm still not like, you know, you know, you know, yeah, I'm less bored, but I'm not like loving this, which like I've said before is unfortunate. Um, I hope that now start, starts, things start to pick up. Um, so I do this thing where I have a post-it like every 50, um, every 50 pages or so. So I have a post-it and I write down like what happen in those like 50 pages and literally <laughs> for a lot of them there's like two three things that i write down on the post -it. and usually when i do this when um because i've done this with other books before usually i have like at least five things that i write down that happen in those 50 pages as well as thoughts and with this book a lot of the posts have like two or three things which which i feel like shows like how little things happen or like things are happening but like it takes like 50 pages for one thing to happen so it, i feel yeah i just feel like certain things could be like taken out or shortened yeah because I feel like not much is happening but I'm 400 pages in so it's just like what has happened in 400 pages yes yeah, so it's very slow pace. I think that's my problem it's very slow pace it's I need things to just like like one one thing happen right after the other um, so this is very slow pace so I'm not used to that I'm used to reading more fast paced stories so this is just taking me so long to read i'm not getting like invested in it i'm not getting invested in the story i'm not getting invested into, into the characters so i'm just like why am i here <laughs> basically um i also feel like a lot of my updates haven't even been about what is actually happening in the book because what has happened <laughs> There have, from my from my last update, there had been like a um, there was one like really funny scene between Dom, Sarasa, and Corain that I like highlight up. I highlighted a lot of it in yellow. Um, yeah, and then now at this point, they have gathered more people, and now they're going somewhere, and then now they found big things because i can't no spoilers um they have figured something out that we knew from like chapter five and they're now just finding out about it <laughs> um so now they're like okay how do we deal with this but yeah i think um that's the update i have for the moment yeah i think that's the update i have for the moment i'm gonna keep reading and see like if things start to pick up and i've heard the ending is very like omg so let's let's see how i feel but i'm not gonna get to the ending today but i'm hoping to get like a good amount more done today so yeah um if anything interesting happens i'll let you guys know
Okay, so. Blade Breaker. Okay, I finished this finally um, a few hours ago. Okay, so it's Monday, August 8th. It's 9.34 p.m. <sighs> so I finished, I finished this a few hours ago. And what was keeping me going to finishing this was the fact that one, I knew something big was going to happen at the end of the book. Um, and that I've heard like people were like, like, oh my God, like, why did she do that? Like, that's, that's like, how can she end the book like that? That's what I kept hearing. So that is what kept me going reading this book, even though I was not having a good time reading this book, pretty much the entire time I was reading this, which was like a month. <laughs> and I got the ending. And I didn't care about what happened. So basically something happens to a character. And I didn't care. And the reason why I didn't care is because for two books, I haven't gotten attached to any of the characters. And I read um, one person's review and she felt the same way she was like i am not attached to any of the characters oh yeah she because it was just the same thought that i had was that we're not because there's multiple povs we're not spending i think there's six different povs yeah there's six different povs so we don't at least i feel like we don't get enough time with each character to really get to know them you really get like a little bit about of like who they are, but not much. So I stole two books and like a thousand pages in from, from two books. I'm not attached to any of these characters. So especially the person, especially the character that this thing happened to at the end, this person doesn't have a lot of chapters to begin with. So, um, I'm like, why would I have a strong emotional reaction to what happened to this person? Yeah. Let's see. Plot wise, I also feel like not a lot has happened. Like things are happening, but I feel like it's nothing that I'm like excited to to read about and to know more about because i they're basically the whole i'm trying to explain this without spoiling anything so, um but basically the whole I feel like the whole book is just books it's just them looking for spindles to close them and i'm traveling and that's pretty much everything that happens and that wouldn't be like bad if i cared about the characters like i need to have one or the other either like a very interesting plot or a very interesting characters for me the characters aren't that interesting and the plot isn't that intriguing so overall i'm just like not having a good time here um so rating wise i gave this i was debating between 2.5 stars and three stars i think i'm gonna go with three stars because i don't know i just feel like yeah i, I, I don't feel like it's a 2.5 stars I think it's a three because I'm like thinking about other books that I've read like a two star and I'm like that isn't this book so I think it's a three star or is it a 2.5 or like a 2.7 maybe like a 2.7 but yeah 
character wise don't care about the characters i'm not attached to any of them plot wise there's not a lot happening in my opinion so yeah yeah um there's also like new characters are introduced but i'm like why are we getting introduced to more characters when we barely know the characters we're following um and then because there's like a lot of like kingdoms it's um it gets a little bit confusing because i had you keep having to go to the map to be like okay um like well first of like where are they um who is this person where is this kingdom that they're from um oh oh so there was this other like plot situation going on where <laughs> i feel like nothing not a lot happened with that and then eventually like, towards the end it got brought up again and then i feel like nothing happened from there so i don't know or did it i don't the last like few because something happened towards the end but i don't know if it was due to i guess it was but i okay so the whole plot point was brought back up at the end but then by that point i think i was just like i want to be done with this so it wasn't that like like yes okay this was brought back in and i like it because i i was just like i want to be done um and then the whole because we follow erida um who is our villain well one half of of our villain her story plot was her storyline was interesting i guess because <laughs> she is basically just trying to take over the world with harrison so it was kind of interesting but at the same time the whole going back and forth between different like POVs not spending enough time with each character and then I feel like in each chapter they were long chapters and like I feel like not a lot happened in those chapters like I mentioned before like I do those little like um 50 page um summaries and I'll post it and I will write like one or two things but normally um when I do it with other fantasy books I the post it is pretty much like full like two two or three things happen but like it takes so many pages for like those two or three things to happen i'm just like get to the point i think that's all i'm gonna say but yeah, uh oh book three book three will be the last is a trilogy so be the last book in this series i am still planning on reading it <laughs> you may think like why why um i because the last book i'm just like i want to see how it wraps up i have already made it through a bit over a thousand pages in this series already want to know if they um if by book three there's more char character development if we learn more about the world and i don't know the plot gets more interesting because at this point the characters aren't not attached to any of the characters the plot isn't that interesting to me so yeah I just, i'm curious to see how it's gonna wrap up but this is this series so far for me has not been great <laughs> let's just say that um but yeah if you guys have read bleed breaker please let me know down below um let me know what you rated it and if you rated it high what did you like about it because i would like to know and also if you didn't like it or like you rated it low let me know why as well um without trying not to do any spoilers though um but yeah, that's the video i have for you guys for today if you guys like this video please give it a like so i can know what kind of video should post on here and um like always all of my social media links will be linked down below in the description box you can follow me on those places and i'll catch you guys here next time on yeti Hearts books bye